Hi, it's Bridget with Above Life Channel. Welcome. Today I want to do a follow-up to the conversation I had with Mr. Elvis Presley. And the reason for my follow-up is because there was something about um, the experience I had with him, how I felt him that I wanted to revisit. So I'm going to ask him to just kind of be present while I have this discussion with you. And because I want to accurately reflect how I'm feeling as energy. So part of the connection, the psychic connection that I do, if you've watched these videos here at Above Life Channel, you know that I'm very clairvoyant, which means I see spirit, which means I access that channel to be able to explain to you what they're wearing, how they look, their posture, their gestures, that kind of a thing. And also though, there is another channel that I use a lot, which is clairsentience, which I personally believe everybody is clairsentient, which means you sense, it's you feel. If you get overwhelmed with emotions or if you kind of pick up on vibes of other people and they feel a little creepy to you or they, they feel really negative to you, for example, and I'm giving you extremes, can also feel good and positive and you can be really drawn to people. That's clairsentience. That's sensing feeling. That's the heart channel. And that's a way that I feel and can share with you then the energy during the communications that I have uh, in, our, in our weekly um, channeled sessions. So when I was talking to Elvis yesterday, this came up for me and I, I experienced this again or I had experienced this a few times too with some other spirits that I communicate with, have talked to and, and shared with you um, as well. But with him, I wanted to just um, tap into that live here and explore that with you. So Elvis Presley feels like he is transitioned, which means he has left his physical body and he has become full on spirit. He has embraced becoming, being a spirit. However, with that, he also has an aspect to him that is very, it is more structured than spirit. When I feel sense spirit energy, it feels really expanded like the universe and wide open like the ocean as if you were looking at the ocean and, the, and all you saw was blue sky and blue ocean and just wow and it all blends together like that's how spirit feels to me and yet when I connected with Elvis he felt very he felt very spirit like I knew he was spirit I could feel he was totally in spirit body but I also could feel a structure with him where he embodies human aspects or attributes more so than other spirits. So um, the other instance that this I felt this was with Michael Jackson. And so if you want to look back, I did an uh, interview or I had a conversation with Michael Jackson and I have had several um, audio conversations with him that I have not shared publicly. Um, they're more like healing sessions that he and I have done that he came in and kept asking and so and he literally came in. I did not invite him in which is interesting because usually how it works with a medium and doing channeling from my experience has been when I'm open to it or I hear a song or I I'm all of a sudden, like I say, a picture of somebody like on Facebook and I'm open, then I can access or tap into that channel of information, that portal, like I open a door and I walk through and then I can connect with that person. So oftentimes mediums and psychics, when they're gonna do channels, they invite the person in. But with Michael Jackson, it wasn't the case with me. He was like wanting assistance. And so, but he is very, he is much more earthbound, which is he's much more connected to the human life than he is comfortable being into the spirit, full on spirit world. And now he's still, a, he's a spirit, but Michael Jackson, I'm talking about, but he's more connected to the human experience. We're working on that. Hopefully um, he'll get more and more comfortable being in the spirit world and feel like he can, like he's worthy of that and he can really embody that. However, with Elvis, a little bit different. <clears throat> and I think it's because, so Mr. Presley, thank you for being here. He's like, 
Thank you. Thank you very much. It's funny because we were doing that yesterday. <laughs> I kept doing that after session. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, um, he has such a faith tie, such a, a real connection with Jesus. And right now, the way I'm feeling him right now is different than in the video that I channeled him because right now he feels more spirit and reflective of the structure of human experience. So he feels like two energy. Now, I don't want you to watch this and be like, oh my gosh, Elvis is two people, or oh, Elvis is a ghost. Please do not misinterpret what I'm saying. And I also don't want you to think, oh my gosh, Michael Jackson's a ghost, you know, either. Because it's really, they're kind of both. And they're different. The two situations are different. I'm just giving you the examples so that you know how I'm trying to describe the feeling of how I felt Elvis. He, Elvis does not feel that he is, uh, there's not unrest. He doesn't have unresolved feelings. He doesn't have unfinished business. Oh, I hate that when people are like, well, he has unfinished business. So he has to haunt the earth for 15 years. No, no, no. No, <laughs> that's not how Elvis is. But I feel like because there's so much love and energy around his, his energy, from his person energy, that there is still a structure like a scaffolding that is held with, it kind of is encapsulated with this actual really beautiful healing energy so that when people do go to places and they hear Elvis music and they're Elvis fans and they go back to that time in their life and they, they reflect and they have an opportunity for healing or for connection and that clairsentient channel, they have that access. And if they go to Graceland, they can, he's telling me there's other places and he's showing me Mississippi but there's pl some place in Mississippi or something or around Mississippi where he feels like people can feel him a lot. And I know that he lived in Texas. Um, somebody posted that, I think, on one of the comments. And he was from, no, wait, no, he didn't live in Texas. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, that he, I'm confusing him with Buddy Holly. Um, okay. So, but he's, hey, okay, so he's trying to tell me, show me, there's multiple places where you can go and literally feel the spirit of Elvis. It's not because he's a ghost, you guys. It's not, he's not stuck in his body and he's roaming the earth and like this insomnia kind of energy. He's not like a zombie or he's not like that. Um, he's not a ghost, but you can see his spirit and sense his spirit, feel him. The most, like he's showing me, the most people can do is feel it. And that's because of like the scaffolding energy that encapsulates connected through his life experience and the legacy he has with the, his music and with the places, especially with Graceland. And I haven't actually been there. I've been right to the gates of it, but I haven't been in. So that's on my to-do list, my bucket list. Now, wouldn't that be so cool? I go there channel. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. But so I'm trying to explain this to you. I feel like I'm not doing a very good job, but I'm doing the best I can because the clairsentient channel is the feeling energy that you feel the spirit. And for Elvis, there's really a strong sense of his humanity, his human experience, his legacy. There's a lot of energy around that. There's a lot of people, human people that still need to be connected to that so that they can heal, grow and utilize. Like I literally feel like it's almost like a well, like it's a scaffolding kind of thing, like a, like a silo or well that's filled with like energy and then people who love him or are fans of him, when they listen to his music, they go to the well and they, they refresh or they go to Graceland or they go someplace in Mississippi. He keeps showing me a place in Mississippi and I'm not sure if that's a house or a cemetery or family or what's going on, but I literally see walking in front of the cemetery and then I see a house off in the distance. So that's what I'm seeing. And it looks like Mississippi, not Memphis. Because the word, the letters are both M's and I am really bad with letters. I am so bad with names, you guys. You guys know that. Oh, not great with names. I think it's Mississippi. Okay, and right, okay, I got it. So he can feel, you can feel him and connect with him at multiple places, you guys, multiple places. In your own home, listening to music or at these historic sites, 
the, there literally is like energy. You just dip into the energy well and you get that refreshment energy, that reconnection. And he says it's it's like a rejuvenating energy, like a being reborn energy. Wow, that is cool. I want me some of that. So he's saying it's like a reborn, reborn. And so is that because of your major tie with Jesus? Because I know in our first video that Elvis and I did, when we talked, you had such a strong faith. And like when you crossed over, you showed me right away a beautiful cross and a white lamb and just really connected to Jesus. And just such a loving, faithful energy that you had and have still now that radiates. It's like, wow, wow, you know? It's kind of that well of faith that I feel like you are embodying and you're embodying that in the afterlife. He says, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And so I'm like, he's like, we're all like Jesus. I'm like, whoa, that's going to be controversial. I'm sure I'll hear about that one in the comments. Thanks, Elvis. <laughs> he's like, oh, you can handle it. He's like, he always does this weird thing with his mouth. Uh, it's hard for me to do it. <laughs> um, but he talks about the side of his mouth. Um, and, but he says, we're all a little bit of Jesus. We all are a little bit of Jesus. It's about, it's about knowing that it's about forgiving yourself. You got to forgive yourself. You got to forgive yourself time and time and time again. He says, I had lots of practice doing that in my life. Lots of practice. Other people can't give you forgiveness. It doesn't make you feel better. You got to forgive yourself. That's the road. That's the way to that rebirth. He says, he's saying, I'm not telling people to prophesy or to, to, uh, prophesize. He's not telling people to study Jesus or really get into Jesus. That's not, please don't confuse that. Elvis's energy is very devoted to Jesus, to acknowledging. He says, the reason why Jesus is so appealing, is so attractive is because he was a human. He was a person and walked the earth. And so then you can, you can relate to that. And Jesus can relate to you. And it gives you hope. Isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what your, your work is all about? He's looking at me. Isn't that what your work is all about? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's what your work is all about. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. So interesting, interesting. And Jesus is just one personification of faith. All right. So, wow, okay, so to be clear, let's sum up this video, shall we? Um, I feel spirit in different ways. I connect in different ways for our weekly conversations that we have. And the reason why I did this video is because I wanted to follow up with Elvis and talk about Elvis's energy. Because again, he's got that scaffolding energy, that well, that capsule of energy that people on earth as humans can relate to his human energy. And so people can feel him, sense him, and he says, yes, ma'am, they can see me at times. At times he says, now that's real. Now talk about smoke and mirrors. He said, that's real. You gotta, that's a lot of work. He's like, that's a lot of work to do that. He says, but I can do it. I'm getting real good at that. He says, I'm getting real good at that. But you guys know, it does not mean that he's stuck here. He's not what we consider an earthbound spirit. He's not a ghost that's haunting the earth. Or, it's not like that. He has the ability to show up in his human, his former human uh, form by tapping into that scaffolding capsule of energy. And when I say that capsule of energy, I don't mean it has a location like a silo on a farm. Um, however, I feel like there's definitely a place like me. It's a circular place and then there's like um, It's a circle and there's a like a almost like a pergola above it or something like a wood or something around it Canopy, but it's open to the sky and that place feels like that's part of where the energy flows a lot but that doesn't mean um, That that's the only place. I think it's on Graceland property. I think it's Graceland, someplace in circle. I don't know if it's a fountain there. I don't know if it's a garden. I don't know what it is because I haven't actually been in there. Um, but that's, and then it's around the edges. It's like, um, it looks white, almost like lattice or something or pergola. And that's the primary place. But then he says there's other locations. It's kind of like, that's where the Wi-Fi, you know, that's where the router is. Like, that's how I'm describing it. That's where the router is. And then you can pick up the Wi-Fi of Elvis other places like in Mississippi. He says other part places around Memphis. There's a record store he loved. Um, there's also, um, 
He's talking about the beach or the shoreline. I don't know where that would be. Um, and then Mississippi, there's a huge connection to Mississippi. And I literally see like a, the front of a beautiful, like an older cemetery and walking in the sidewalk along the cemetery. And then I see right next to it, like this little house. And I don't know if it's his family house. I don't know if grandparents, I don't know what it is, but that means something. And so you bet I'm gonna go Google it after I share this with you because I'm so curious about what that is. So you can feel him. Remember, clairsentience, sense and feel. You have that too. You have that too. Do not be afraid of that. You have that too. All right. And then I mentioned, just in comparison or in contrast, his energy feels d different. Like other spirits that I talk to do not feel like that. And the energy of Michael Jackson, I would say, was the first time I actually felt that. And the first time I actually channeled a spirit that feels more connected to the human body, human experience, his human life, than he does to the afterlife. And it doesn't mean he's not in the afterlife or he didn't become spirit. It just means he's not, he's much more comfortable as a as a connection to his human life than he is a spirit. That is not the case with Elvis. That it's not exactly, it's not like that with Elvis. But the way that I'm feeling them, I'm just trying to give you some contrast here. Um, Elvis is most certainly totally embraced the spirit life. And he's kind of having some fun with it. He likes the ghost of Elvis stuff. He kind of has some fun with that. That's very, he says, that's quite entertaining. That's quite entertaining, he says. <laughs> so, so if you see the ghost of Elvis, you probably do see the ghost of Elvis. All right? All right. <laughs> All right, this is Bridget with Above Life Channel. Remember to subscribe so you never miss a weekly channel because our purpose here at Above Life Channel is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. And remember, it's your life, so live it.